Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be learning how to make an ice cream clicker game in Scratch 3.0. So now let's get started. First you can draw the sprites like the different types of ice creams, the shop items, the decorations, the background, the buttons, the arrows and not enough money button. So now let's do the coding. We'll take when the flag is clicked, let's zoom in. We'll go to motions and take go to x0 and y0 middle. Switch costume to vanilla in the big name. Now after this we'll make a variable named dollar. Set dollar to zero in the big name. Then we'll take the forever block inside the forever block, if else block, if touching mouse pointer. Then set size to from looks, set size to 110%, duplicate it, else set size to 100%, the original size. Now we'll go to the event section and take when this sprite is clicked. Start sound finger snap, if block. If equals to sign, we'll go to looks if costume number equals to 1. Then we'll go to variable section and take change dollars by 1 and go to controls create clone of myself. Now duplicate it if costume number equals to 2, the same thing. Now duplicate it again if costume number equals to 3 change dollar by 2 and create loan of myself 2 times. Duplicate this again. If costume number equals to 4, then change dollars by 4 and create loan of myself 4 times. Like this. Now we'll take when, this, when I start as a clone. When I start as a clone, set ghost effect to 50. After set ghost effect to 50, Set size to 30%. That means a smaller version. Go to X. Pick random. It will pick random from 206 to minus 204. And will set Y to 169. Repeat until. We will go to sensing. Touching. The line. Repeat until touching line. We'll go to motions and take change y by minus 6. That means it will come downwards. Like this, the animation will work out. Delete this clone after this animation. When the flag is clicked again, we'll take the if block and the forever block. This time we'll take three if blocks. So duplicate it again and again. Yes. Now inside all the if blocks, we'll put the equals to sign from operators. So take the equals to sign in all three of them. Equals to 2. Then in the second one, equals to 3. Third one, equals to 4. Now we'll go to looks, costume number. We'll put in all three. In all three, we'll again put forever inside the if blocks. Forever, forever, forever. Inside the forever blocks, wait one second, wait one second, and wait one second. So in the last one, we'll change wait one second to wait 0 0.5 seconds. Change dollar by one, change dollar by one, and again change dollar by one. Now this column is done. Now we'll do the coding for the shop button. So for the shop button, we'll take when the flag is clicked. When the flag is clicked, forever, inside the forever block, we'll go to looks and take show, go to front layer, if else block, if touching mouse pointer, then switch costume to costume 2, else switch costume to costume 1. Now this column is done. We'll go to events again and take when this sprite is clicked. Start sound pop. Go to look section and take hide block. It will hide itself. Broadcast a new message. 
the new message named shop. Now we'll do the coding for the shop. When the flag is clicked, go to look section hide. Events, when I receive shop, will take go to front layer that means front of all the sprites and show itself. Now we will do the coding for the shop items. When the flag is clicked, hide, let's zoom in. Then we will take forever, inside forever we will put go to front layer that means forever it will remain in the front. When I receive shop, we will go to looks again and take show. Now we'll go to event section and take when this sprite is clicked. After when this sprite is clicked, we'll take the if block. Inside the if block, we'll put the equals to sign if costume number equals to 2. Then if costume number equals to 1, 2, 3 and 4, do it for every each of them. Then we'll take the if else block inside them or equals to bigger than sign if dollars equals to 100 or dollars bigger than 100 then start sound collect broadcast new message named buy strawberry okay now we'll go to variables set dollars to zero Change this set dollars to zero to minus from operators set dollars to minus dollars minus hundred. Do it for the second one too by changing the values to five hundred dollars equals to five hundred or dollars bigger than five hundred. Broadcast a new message this time. Instead of buy strawberry, we'll write buy guava. Okay. Now we'll do the same for the costume number 3. Done. Now we'll take when I receive buy strawberry in the ice cream. Switch costume to strawberry. Duplicate this. When I receive buy chocolate, switch costume to chocolate. When I receive buy guava, switch costume to guava bar. Like this we'll do the code. Then we'll do the code for the shop exit button. When I receive shop, we'll go to look section and take, go to front layer, show. Then go to events and take when this sprite is clicked. Go to looks and take height. Then take broadcast a new message named close shop. Yes. Now we'll do the coding for the ice cream again. When I receive shop, we'll go to motions, go to x minus 105 and y minus 5. Now we'll do the coding for the arrows. For the arrow right, when the flag is clicked, hide, go to control section and take forever. And then go to looks, go to front layer. Now we'll take when this part is clicked from events, broadcast a new message named next. Now we'll do the code for the same when I receive shop, go to look section, show when I receive close shop, height. Now we'll do the code same for arrow left by changing the broadcast new message named previous okay now we'll go back to the ice cream code and add this when i receive next and duplicate when i receive previous when i receive next switch costume to duplicate it again to plus switch costume to plus and switch costume to minus for when I receive previous. When I receive next, switch costume to costume number plus one and costume number minus one for previous. Now we'll do coding for the rays. So for the rays animation, when the flag is clicked, we'll go to motion section and take 
go to x0 and y0 forever turn to the right one degree when i receive shop duplicate when i receive close shop so when i receive shop we'll go to motions and take go to x0 and y0 so if you like the project don't forget to like share and subscribe for more such videos don't forget to put the notification bell on bye meet you next time